the captain of London Welsh. It's a blue sky, the sun is shining, and the sun is shining on you, my friend, and your club, because uh, it's been a long old journey, hasn't it, to, to where you are now? Yeah, you know, as I said, uh, I probably joined the club, uh, five, I think it was five seasons ago now, and uh, we're fighting relegation, and then for us to go uh, and get promoted last season, and obviously mixing it with the big boys now, is uh, great for us as a team and great for me. Finding relegation from what division? From the, it was the Division 1 at the time, uh, the National League 1, then it turned into the Championship. I think it was my second season at the club, it turned into the Championship, and obviously uh, here we are now. But I mean, you were, uh, uh, even though you were the league below, you were a long way from, from here, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, you know, I think when, we, when I first came up, we were playing, uh, I think Northampton was in the league, I think the first season I played there, yeah? and you know, they were cut above, simple as, I think they won every game that year. But the uh, the championship has really strengthened the division. You know, I think there's a lot of quality individuals that are coming out of it now and showing how good they are in the Premiership now. And uh, you know, as a club on a whole, we've really gone full circle almost. We've gone from fighting that relegation to the top division, back to fighting mm. relegation up there now. So yeah, uh, well, maybe or maybe not. Times. We'll get on to the season in, in a moment. Now you were semi-professional, weren't you, when you when you started out? Yeah, when we started out, uh, my first two seasons there, they were semi-professional, and then it turned uh, full time after that. So what did you do apart from rugby? I was actually I was actually just playing rugby. I was, I was living in Neath, and I was travelling up because uh, I just just left the Scarlet. So uh, okay. I was about four or five of us travelling up from uh, from Wales, and the club sorts out with the car and uh, expenses there and back. So we travel up on a Tuesday, Thursday, about three o'clock, uh, do the training session, get home about uh, eleven o'clock at night. Fantastic. And well, you play on the Saturday then. Now you're making us all look like mugs, all our so-called pundits. We all had you down to be uh, probably relegated at the end of the season. Now you know it is early November; it's a long, long way to go. But so far, you've confounded all the critics, and you've. you've yeah, made a very, very good stab at your first season in the Premiership. Yeah, you know, I think um, nobody really gives a chance, which is fair enough. You know, obviously, we uh, we just come up from the Championship. We didn't know until, I think, it was six weeks before that we were actually going to be playing in the Premiership, which gave uh, Lynn and the coaching staff a headache trying to get players in that he needed, they thought, to compete at this level. But uh, we're loving every minute of it. And, uh, you know, I, th I think if somebody had offered me the situation after these many, after I think it was nine, uh, eight games, we would have bitten your hands off. So, you know, I think we, we all believe in ourselves. We, uh, we've got some quality individuals in there anyway and, and we've added to that with the signings that Lynn's made. Think about uh, Welsh as well this season. You are, you're not a team of superstars, but you clearly have a very, very strong collective. And, and for someone like you, uh, Jonathan, is there a real sort of hunger now to, you know, you've worked this hard to get here, rather like a lot of the extra boys. Now, finally, you're here. You, you want to prove to yourself and to everybody else that, that you deserve to be here. You're not a lower league player. Your your Premiership player. Yeah, you know, I think that's that's one thing with the squad. As you said, there's not massive uh, individual talent in the sense, you know, big names and all that. But as a team, we want to work for each other. We're a close group, and you know, as you said, we want to prove how good we are as individual players and as a team. Show how good we are. Make sure it's not just a one season wonder. You know, we want to make sure it's a, a long term thing for London Welsh. I've been a good Welshman that you are from from the valleys and from Neath, yes, yes. What is sort of the name London Welsh? Does that does that resonate with you? Because those um, of an older persuasion. Will sort of uh, through their sepia tinted glasses will will say what a great name they were. Yeah, until you know, I, I, until I actually joined the club, I didn't know the whole, whole history behind the club. But you know, I'd heard of London Welsh, and uh, you know, the amount of internationals that have been through it, the British Lions, and quality players that have played for this club. It's great that it's now back at the top table. And hopefully, we can add to the history of the club and really make sure it's a long term thing that we're in the Aviva Premiership and not just a one season hit. Yeah, yeah. Well, Exeter, I guess, in many ways, are, are a good template, aren't they? Nobody really gave them much of a chance. Chance. and already within two and a half seasons they are you know, very very solidly a premiership team aren't they yeah they're a quality outfit and you know i think they as you said they're a template for any side looking to come up the first year they consolidated made sure they stayed up kept that uh, aviva premiership status and then you know over the last season and two they, they're kicking on you know they, as you said they're playing the Heineken Cup rugby this year they've got such a, such a good uh, infrastructure down there with the ground and everything you know it is really what we've got to strive for if we can stay in this league and really kick on next year to hopefully improve again and what about oxford you're here today at a, at a, at a primary school doing some coaching uh, which is great, and obviously you're, you're trying to lay some roots, aren't you, in the area. Is it working for you, the Kazam Stadium? Sure, I'm really enjoying, I'm really enjoying playing at the Kazam. You know, I think when we couldn't play at uh, Old Deer Park in the Premiership, it was obviously a bit, bit of an uh, annoyance for us, you know, especially me who had played there growing up. I played there for five years now, and you know it was seen as my home ground. But Kazam's a great surface, you know the ground itself's amazing, and you know we're really enjoying playing there. And, you know the crowd seem to be building week in week out, and you know if the club can survive better by coming to Oxford, that's probably the best thing that they can do. Yeah. Well, you going to stay out? Yes.
good man. Thanks a lot. No worries, mate.